Wonder who stashed that stuff there. Spear shafts. Huh. Nice arrow shafts, too. Any of those here? Oh, wait a minute. Right back there was a sharp stone. Some of these kind of really easy to collect when they're right on the on the main trunk like that. Smells good. Riddos here is a strong smell. Well, one thing I'm going to dearly miss is all this beautiful sandstone. Neat looking rock. I've had a lot of people ask me uh, what I see in rocks or, or how I choose rocks out of all the rocks in the in the <clears throat> creek, how why I choose the ones I choose, and what is it about them that uh, I find attractive. The reason I picked it up was because what looked to me like conchoidal fractures. Now, this is a pretty mixed up rock. It's not a perfect, beautiful piece of agate or obsidian or anything like that, but, <coughs> excuse me, we might be able to get some flakes off of it. Boy, I didn't mean to get up this far, but I <laughs> guess I got carried away looking for rocks. Oh well.
There's my pile of cool rocks I found in this gravel bar. I'd say this has been one of the best gravel bars I have found in this area. I need a flake. That's one nice sharp edge right there. big one I can use as a saw and it actually has a sharp edge that can be used that I've been using as a scraper. Right there. That works really good. It's kind of a, a primitive multi-tool. has lots of fracture lines through it. So I'm not getting very big pieces off of here. If I can find a place where I can get a big piece, then this stuff would work really good. And this piece of jasper we found. I might try to take a flake off of this one. Well, I got a razor edge there. Natural fracture right there. Sharp little edge right there. I make a good hoko knife. And in knocking that off, it produced a very sharp scraper edge right there. That works very well. Shaves a whole lot cleaner than the other rock. This is the antler I found on my get home bag trip. Arrow's got to have an arrow head, right? Try something here. It's a little piece of willow bark. Well, that works a lot 
lot better than my sweatshirt. It's not pretty, but it kills something. Well, unfortunately, my camera died last night before I had a chance to show you all my goodies. Over here is the tools that I made and used. I used an abrader, a little saw, a little flake of jasper. And I'm going to make into a hoko knife. This is my saw. This worked really good. Made a couple arrowheads. They're simple. And they're not pretty, but they would work. And we'll hopefully end up putting them on the arrows. And this made a nice scraping edge right there. A set of arrows, set of uh, one, three, four, six, seven arrows. I'll straighten them as they dry. Tie them together with willow bark. So there you have it. An array of tools and pretty things and debris from my primitive escapades. And there was a bunch of uh, the red ozu that was just too curved. Sometimes it's hard to tell until you get them out of the bushes. Well, I must say this was really fun and much needed. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've gotten out, so this was a lot of fun. And I'm happy to share it. Thanks for coming along.